always think about it like, oh, I, I hope I, I'm making the right decision. everyone and welcome to episode 8. I am your host Alanized and this is Noche de Pendejadas. Para todas las pendejas allá en casita que no saben qué es esto, escuchen pendeja because I'm about to educate y'all. Noche de Pendejadas is a weekly episodic show that premieres every Wednesday where I go ahead and bring your favorite influencers to chismear, have some cocktails and see what the fuck they've been up to. So para lo que estás haciendo ahorita pendeja, ya hazme un pinche gran favor and tag your favorite influencer down below porque a la Mejor te lo traigo para la próxima semana. You guys loved the last guest, which was Gabriel Zamora, because he brought all the motherfucking tea. Y esta semana les traigo a alguien just as exciting. Please help me welcome my friend, Adam Ray OK. Hello. Hi. Oh my God, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I mean, I'm like, oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> for those of you guys that do not know, or for those of you guys that are not longtime fans of Noche de Pendejadas, Adam is the first person on the show that's been on the show twice. <gasps> Wow! And you know what's crazy? I told myself this season that I wasn't gonna have any repeats, but the only reason I'm allowing you to repeat, uh, uh, only reason I opened the door, <laughs> only reason why I'm doing an exception <laughs> is because if you guys don't remember, Adam didn't have his own episode, and uh, oh he had to share. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> He's like, he dropped Marlene. <laughs> Just, the first time you were on the show, you had an episode with Marlene. Uh -huh. But I feel like Adam's life has completely changed a lot since that episode. So me and Adam have been hanging out. He moved to LA not too long ago. Oh my God, I wasn't we, even... It wasn't no, you weren't out. I'm like, you flew out from my show. Ah, <laughs> no, he did. I was like, ah. I'm like, I did though. I <laughs> no, but you were out here for business yeah. and it ended up you being here for the time wow. we wanted to film. Dude, I feel like so much has changed. Like, a for lot. real. If you guys go to the episode two, I feel like you have changed dramatically too in an ah, amazing a way. crazy <laughs> lot. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're a whole new person <laughs> for those of you guys that are watching the video format i do want to go ahead and say that me and adam are actually really good friends outside yeah. of like youtube so if you guys see us like going back and forth uh, if you like guys this, see us being mean <laughs> i'm like that's how we are i'm like we just hate each other <laughs> he's just my competition <laughs> No, but I just wanted to put that out there because I feel like people are going to be like, why are they like that with oh, each why other? Why are they so annoying? <laughs> so, yeah, so now we have him on the show by himself, you guys. The day you guys are watching this, you guys, Adam is actually, or actually already went through surgery. I'm be like, uh, uh, anyways. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm going to be, like, trying to recover because I'm going to be going into I guess uh, I'm, like, I'm like what are you doing when you're lying about your surgery <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna be doing <laughs> you're like I'm doing my thyroid surgery <laughs> it's all like fucking lipo and everything <laughs> but, it's like, <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna be going into surgery and it's gonna be crazy because I'm gonna do surgery for my skin removal since like the last episode I since the last episode I've probably lost well I have lost over 200 pounds that is crazy you guys 200 so, pounds that's a yeah. fucking an accomplishment bitch and i've told you so many times i'm so happy for you Dude. and you're like are you uh, i'm like you seem jealous <laughs> <laughs> like, you only mean... lost 100 <laughs> <laughs> no just kidding but no, <laughs> it's been i mean it's been crazy <laughs> I'm like, okay, hold on. But I'm like, put it together. I'm red. <laughs> You're like, I'm pink. I'm like, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the surgery didn't work. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> All right, you guys. So for those of you guys that do not know Adam, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to him. Para que les diga lo que hace and who he is. As Alan already stated, you probably already know me from Rosa. I started her back in 2019. This December will be two years. That's dude, crazy. That I've been doing Rosa. And I also do YouTube, Instagram. She does everything. She's a model. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, um, she does taxes. <laughs> She's like, barely. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I'm just like, kidding. <laughs> IRS, don't call me. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. But um, yeah, I basically am here and I've changed so much from when you last saw me. So I'm kind of like reintroducing myself. Literally, I feel like I'm- But like I feel total... like it's a good change. Yeah. I feel like I've seen it too. I feel like, I mean, when we filmed, I feel like we barely even talked at that time but even seeing the video like if you guys have not watched that video go check it out like you see a different energy in no, adam for real i literally watched it yesterday with my friends and i was like i feel like it's so different like i don't even know who that person is uh, it's like i forgot about her uh, I'm like i'm I glad they're that. gone <laughs> no but like i genuinely and like some people like don't get me wrong i get hate for like, I mean, uh, people hate to hate me. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a trend. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get people saying that I've changed and like, they always think that I changed for the wrong reasons, but I feel like the, the change that has happened, it's been nothing but good. And like, it nothing has. but good things have came out of my change. And I feel like even now, now, not just seeing him as, you know, someone that I follow him online, seeing him as a friend, I feel like I've seen such a dramatic change in you and it's been a positive change. And I feel like even, I feel like, just seeing how you carry yourself now, I'm like, whoa. Like, I am uh -huh. annoying. <laughs> no, like, I'm really happy for you, bitch. No, like, yeah, and I and told like, you before. Dude, I love feeling like that, like waking up every day and like being uh -huh. able to, ah, uh, <laughs> like, BSSI. <laughs> I'm like, let's start recording for real. Uh. <laughs> no, but like, waking up every day, I would literally, it was a drag because back then, like, my mentor, like, everything was just like fucked up yeah and like i feel like i am started like learning every single day to like accept who i am and like learning new things about me learning what i like like more and more like it's just different like because i feel like nobody would really understand unless they've been at my size and lost this amount of yeah. weight like it's just a dramatic change obviously stuff about me is gonna change and like be different now we're gonna go straight into the motherfucking cheese man because i know you guys want to hear it and i know adam is ready to spill it so we're gonna go over to cheese man and cocktails yeah. so we don't have cock or tails uh, actually we do have cocks uh, <laughs> we're all men and men. I'm like dumbest gender. <laughs> it happens a lot, to Dude, be honest. Huh? Oh, a little way too much. I was uh, like, ah, almost where? every day. <laughs> where were we at? We were at an arcade. Oh, yeah. And yeah. someone came up to us, like, oh, are you guys the girls that are on TikTok? <laughs> and we're like, the girls. Yeah. And then I thought they were talking to Adam because I'm like, oh, Rosa is a girl. You know, I was like, yeah. Adam, they're talking to no, you. No, yeah. And that's why I feel like it happens to me a lot because, like, Rosa, everybody's just like, oh, Rosa, like, that's her, like, color. Like, she, like yeah. she's coming. Out. <laughs> and I'm like, like, all like a dude and shit. Like, because, <laughs> I mean, I'm a guy, you know, but I don't know. It happens all the time, even when, like, I'm out in, like, you like there's no sign of rosa i won't have any nails i won't have like i, I, uh, I don't say, i'll be you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway I, but yeah they'll like confuse me and i'm like you're like i'm a boy uh, like, excuse me uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys so como pueden ver aquí tenemos agüita since adam is getting surgery Thank he you. is approaching his one week before um not being able to drink so we are pre-filming this you guys but you guys are watching this the day he's getting surgery uh, so we're gonna cheers Pa arriba, ah. pa abajo, pa el centro y pa dentro. Mm. It's the holiday season and you don't know what to get as a gift or a stocking stuffer? Well, today's sponsor, Manscaped, has the tools to guarantee you win this year's stocking oh, stuffers what? or the White Elephant competition. Manscaped is the leader in men's below-the-waist grooming and they have served more than 4 million men worldwide. If my math's correct, that's almost 8 million balls. I personally enjoy Manscaped to keep my pelitos trimmed and keep myself clean and fresh down there. Manscaped's best-selling product is the Performance Package 4.0, which is at the top of every man's wish list this year inside you'll find their lawnmower body trimmer the best trimmer on the market for your balls butt and body and the weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer and don't forget to get your performance package now to receive their two free gifts the manscape boxers and the shed travel bag ladies if you don't know what to get your mans or your crush this year for christmas get the yeah. manscape they'll appreciate it and you will too manscape also makes a great gift for your dad your brother or a friend and to the boys listening get it together and get manscape now make sure to hurry to their site to make sure these wild gifts show up before the holiday season and while you're at it get 20 percent off plus free shipping at manscaped.com that is spelled m-a-n-s-c-a-p-e-d.com with code noche n-o-c-e 
T-H-E. And once again, thank you to today's sponsor, Manscaped. And let's get back into the episode. Yeah. All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in with the question. So first of all, I feel like you haven't really spoken about it, but obviously you're going to be very open about your surgery. Yes. Um, what exactly, for the people that don't know, what exactly are you getting done? And what is your mental state going into this surgery? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, okay, so for all right, for those of you who don't know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I, since I have lost a lot of weight, um, I've lost over 200 pounds. Excuse me. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of loose skin, um, like in my stomach area and like basically everywhere, my arms, my legs, my inner thighs, everywhere. So the procedure that I'm getting is skin removal with lipo, liposuction, to basically get rid of all of my new skin, all of the, the extra like stubborn fat that I wasn't able to get rid of. Like I feel like going into it, I'm a little scared because I've, I've, I'm gonna wake up and I feel like I'm just gonna like, things are gonna be different, you know? Yeah. Like it's just gonna be like a total different person. Like not like men, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know what no, to No, I feel like you know? will be different mentally and emotionally, everything. Me and Adam have had so many talks to you guys because this surgery wasn't just like, oh my God, I wanna get surgery y un día la mañana. No, yeah. he's been planning this surgery for a while now. And I've been seeing him like kind of like wanna like not do it, then do it. And then he's like fucking scared about doing it. So I feel like now that it's gonna be here, today the day you guys are watching it's kind of crazy because it really is like surreal it's been like months in the making yeah and then like a lot of people also like confuse like me getting like skin removal and like lipo they they want to like or some people not everybody like just like people who think that i'm doing this surgery to like look a certain way or like fit like society's like standards or like there's like something that like there's a message that I want to tell people. It's like my health and like my body is something that I see on a daily. And like if I see something's wrong with it, like like medically wrong with it, yeah. I'm going to want to like get it taken care of or like I'm going to want to fix it. And like my skin removal is important to me because I feel like there's stuff that on my body that I see and it, it doesn't look healthy. And like I want, I feel like because of my skin, like it's just like, a lot of stuff goes into what what and why I'm getting the surgery. And I feel like a lot of people on the internet, you guys, when the topic about surgery gets brought up, a lot of people tend to have a negative connotation. Yeah. I feel like you've gone through such a life-changing journey that I feel like you've done so much and you've gotten this far that why wouldn't you want to remove that extra skin? Because I'm sure that reminds you of your like old life. Yeah, and it, I feel like me getting rid of my old skin is like me seeing like what has actually happened. Like because my skin won't be there anymore. It's gonna be like what I've been able to do like within yeah. the past year and a half, like what I've been able to accomplish. And like, that's gonna be crazy to that see. Is. And like, I'm so excited. I am so happy for him, you guys. And I am so excited to see the results. And I just, I, I can't, you know, what's crazy. Like you've showed me like your extra skin, whatever, but I just can't wait to really see it off because yeah. I know it's something that you've been wanting and you can't wait to have. Do you feel like going into this surgery, are you more excited or are you more scared? Or has um, it already settled into where you're like, you know what like i already put it in my head i'm getting it done and that's all that matters right now i'm i'm, I'm really excited but obviously i'm nervous because it's like a crazy surgery yeah. like my whole life is just gonna like be different and i i always think about it like i i hope i i'm making the right decision i hope like but then I think like, you know what? This is something that I have been yeah. wanting for the longest time. And like now that like I see it in different perspectives and like I've talked to a lot of people, to doctors, to like my surgeon and like, I'm just seeing like my surgery from a different perspective. And like that makes me more excited because I'm getting it from like the medical point of view. I'm getting it from, you know, like my family and my boyfriend's point of view and like so much support. I'm just, yeah. like that. That's what makes me more excited. I feel like we've seen so many comments um, on your Instagram, like, oh my God, Adam Rosa got the bag and now she's doing all these changes. Do you feel like back when you were Rosa back before you were Adam Ray okay was this something that you always wanted to do yes and like I feel like um so I explained in a YouTube video that I'm posting soon um that I was looking into even like my gastric bypass surgery I was looking into that surgery way before I even started social media I was I, I had like a job and I had like insurance through them and I was gonna get um, my surgery through my insurance, but then I ended up getting fired. Whatever. Uh -huh. um, like they hated me. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to do it anymore. No uh, but then, like <clears throat> a lot of people are under the impression that <clears throat> my throat's kind of. Uh, uh -huh. like, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> uh, people are under the impression that um, I just like started social media, like got paid, and like now I want to do all this stuff. But that's not the case. Like my health has been an issue way before social media had even started. So it's like 
now that I am blessed enough to like be able to do it on my own, like be able to, you know, take care of myself, I want to do it. You've said that you've always wanted the surgery way before Rosa, way before Adam Ray. Okay. But do you feel like being on social media has put this kind of pressure on you to look a certain way or do certain things? Obviously being on social media, I like negative comments are going to get to me because like, there's like, it's me, you know, like you're talking about me and like, I'm human. So I have like emotions and I'd be crying. All right. But it's like, I have always been unhealthy. So like, like I said earlier, like this is something that I have been wanting way before social media. And now I feel like now that I'm able to do it and like get healthy and, you know, like do it on my own, I want to do it. And I'm never what I want to meet like society's idea of perfect because that just like, What's the point of that? Like, I would never do something to make me seem like I'm trying to fit into society's like little perfect image of like what they're trying to do, you know? I'm doing things to take care of myself mentally, physically, emotionally. Like my health is the only thing that matters whenever I do like, well, obviously like my first surgery, I did that because I was super, super unhealthy. And like the surgery I'm doing now, I'm doing it because my body is just like, it can't handle my skin. Like I have pictures and I have stuff of my body that looks super, super unhealthy. And like, I've already gotten like, like, um, a doctor's point of view on it and it's like because of my loose skin and it's just like it's not something that my body should be experiencing yeah. so i would never I, I'm, i'll say this to the day i die i would never want to do something that would make me try and seem like i'm trying to fit into society's like perfect little image because that's just it's not right like, i feel like at the end of the day though like you're gonna do things that make you feel good and make you feel confident fuck society you guys because at the end of the day society standards are very unrealistic very. and even if people try we have people like kylie jenner kim kardashian still editing their body in fucking pictures i feel like no one's ever happy but as long as you're happy with how you look as long as you're you know comfortable and within your own skin that's all that matters yeah and i really just i i want to bring it back to like my health because that's the main reason that's the only reason why i'm doing things that i'm doing and like now i can tell you and it's it's i feel like it's a fact like it's proven it's on video how i was back then yeah. and how i am now it's just that is a complete different person and i'm so glad that that change happened and i'm so much healthier now i never really noticed it in that one, that first time we hung out, I mm -hmm. thought it was really fun. I thought it was really cool. But now seeing how you are now, I see the big change. I see the big difference because back then, te, te miraba más reservado. More to yourself, yeah. more like, let me not talk to not get acknowledged. Let me just, you know, and I see it now, like the confidence that has grown with everything, with this whole journey you've been going through. It makes me so happy for you because the Adam I know now is nowhere near the Adam that I first met a year ago. Yes. A year ago, you guys. Can you guys believe it? It really is fucking mind blowing how much you can change in a fucking year. No, for real. Do you feel like the gastric bypass surgery has really helped you kickstart your amazing journey you've been on? Um, yes. And I, I want to um, bring attention to like sometimes. So there's people in my comment section sometimes always bringing up the fact that I got gastric bypass. I took the easy way out. I got surgery, I didn't do it the, the like the right way and I want to address that because I just feel like with the surgery I still had to, you know, do certain things, meet certain criteria. I still had to like work out. I still had to because if I didn't, I it would have been a failed surgery. Like that those things exist. I have met plenty of people who have had a failed surgery or, you know, that like gained their weight back. And it's just like, for me to be where I'm at now, I had to work for it. And like, I would never let anybody discredit me because yes. I got surgery, but because I know what I went through and I know what I experienced and it wasn't easy. So I, I, I do thank my gastric bypass tool because at the rate that I was going back then, I was not able to do it by myself. And people think that like, like bringing it back to square one, people think that I just got money and like, or like from one day to the next, like I, I am where I am and I got the surgery, but that's not the case. I was overweight my entire life. I needed help. I wasn't able to do yeah. it on my own. And a lot of people are, and that's super dope, but some people just can't. And some people need this tool and I needed it and I got it. And like now look where I'm at. Oh, no, and yeah. you know what's crazy? I feel like people on the internet tend to discredit like all the hard work, but because they don't see all the shit you go through to get to where you're at now. Yeah. Not turning it to me, you guys, but you guys know at the beginning of my weight loss surgery, I was doing, I went to a clinic and they were helping me lose weight. And a lot of people were like, oh my God, like you're just losing weight because estás haciendo ese tratamiento. Nomás estás perdiendo peso porque you're doing this strict diet. But if you guys se ponen a pensar, my strict diet 
say it if you guys ever look into it if i were to not be following por protocol if i were to be eating cheetos eating pizza i would have gained double the weight on the spot doing that you know that treatment so i feel yeah. like what a lot of people don't see a lot of people just see like Oh, he thinned out. Oh, he got... But they don't see that there was times where you're like, fuck, I want to eat this, but I can't because, like, it's going to fuck up my journey. Oh, I want to do this, but I can't because no quiero cagarla. And I feel like people don't see that shit because at the end of the day, like you said, you were getting to a point where, like, you needed to get it because you couldn't do it by yourself. So it's like, if you have that tool and you can still work as hard, why not fucking use exactly. it? Exactly. And I felt, like I said, like, the rate that I was going, I was so unhealthy. I... And... I like people think that like like you said people just think that we're doing it for the e like the easy way whatever whatever but it's like I tried diets I tried yeah. you know working out on my own I tried so 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 many different things and it just wasn't working my body needed help and I like I can't stress that enough that I wasn't able to do it on my own and a lot of people are and like that's super like I said super super dope for people who are able to do it on their own like that's a huge accomplishment but so is what I did too. I still had to work hard. I still faced so many challenges and whew, it was it was not hard. It was not easy. Like bringing it back to me being super proud of you, Adam. I, I don't know, I'm like crying. Uh, no, I really am. I feel like we've had a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations yeah. like like through phone or when we've hanged out you guys and we always like I I fucking admire you cuz you really are a fucking inspiration dude. Do you feel like your mental health at what it was before is at a 100% different state now? Yes, and like I, I love to look back and reflect because I'm I, I'm the type of person who's able to look back at something and be proud of myself from getting out of it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm able to reflect and I'm able to every single day I wake up and I'm so so happy that I'm not the person that I was back then because I just like I said I wake up and I feel so happy and I'm so like my life really did change for the better and I. I I like, like I said, I like looking back and I, I use back then as like my mental trophy because that's like a huge step for me. I, I, I didn't think that I was able, ever going to be able to get out of what I was like thinking back then and like what I would say, like what things that I would like talk about to myself. It was just like a really, really dark place. And now I'm just, I'm happy and like I, I want to be around people and like I've just grown and I've changed and it feels so, so, so good to you know be able to experience life the way i'm experiencing it now as this video goes live you have already gone through surgery mm -hmm. as of in the morning i think you got surgery i'm gonna be talking like in the present <laughs> like in the past <laughs> well you're gonna be having surgery in the morning like yes. at 7 a.m mm -hmm. and this video goes up at 7 p.m later that day so what do you think moving forward since your surgery today moving forward to your recovery, Let, let's paint a picture. I'm like, let, let's draw. Let's be Picasso. Ah, I'm like, let's draw my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what would Adam, as of today, and then you start recovering, what would Adam in a couple months tell the Adam that is sitting down right here, having this interview with me a week before your surgery? Wow. I mean, <laughs> um, well, I wouldn't know. I don't know how it's going to feel, but I would just because I know everything's just going to be a lot smoother and like even already now it's been a lot smoother but I can imagine months from now it's just going to be on that leveled up even 10 times more and I just know that I would be so proud of myself like I even back in 2019 the Adam if I can say something to that Adam it would be that I'm so so proud that I was able to like go through all the shit that I've been through and overcome it and just grow and just turn into this like person that I would have never ever imagined that I would be and you have to be a caterpillar before you can become a butterfly ah. uh -huh. um no but for real no, like yeah. it, you you're you have to experience change if you want to grow as a person and a lot of people are scared of change and a lot of people don't like it I personally am so so grateful for change and yeah I just can't wait to see what the next year is going to look like. I am so proud of you. Like, not just as Adam Ray OK, but I am so proud of you as a friend. You know, so I can't wait, bitch. I can't wait till you wake up from your fucking surgery, feel... Yeah, you're going to be in fucking pain. Don't get me fucking wrong, bitch. Yeah. But in a month, 
you're gonna feel the best version of yourself and i can't wait to see that adam because if i already fucking fuck with adam that's sitting here <laughs> i'm like i can't wait to fuck with adam that i'm gonna meet uh, in a i month. can't wait to fuck him <laughs> <laughs> no but like honestly though i don't know like that <laughs> but like honestly like i can't wait to see who you become i'm like i can't see what kind of butterfly you are <laughs> no but honestly though aside from like us getting so dark you guys and i feel like you touched this topic really really good and really like nicely on your instagram story this past week about people coming for rosa mm -hmm. about how she's changed about how she doesn't hit like she used to what do you have to say and how do you feel when you see comments like that um they i i mean i'm gonna be honest they really do bother me and like but only because as i've said this entire episode my change has been nothing but good and yeah. like i feel like the person that a lot of people did fall in love with unfortunately was in a really dark dark place and if i would have continued at that like route it wouldn't have lasted for long you know it, yeah. i i was only going to be able to do so much at that at, at that like mentality and so it breaks my heart when people are like i'm sad like they change like i I'm, they're so different but like yes i am different but for all the right reasons i feel like i just like I and like I don't let it bother me to the point where I like I don't want to do it anymore. But because like I feel like now I'm able to do so much more yes. with Rosa. Like Rosa is this new version, and like I am this new version. And like I just there's so much things that I have like in my head for me and for her. And like I just want to like flourish. And, and like, you know what's crazy too? I feel we've had this combo a really long time ago. I think this was this combo we had. That time you came to visit me, um, when we had the hibachi, mm -hmm. you remember? We had a combo during that week about him like being stressed out about Rosa and all that. And I feel like now I'm so glad that people are able to not just see Rosa, cause everybody loves Rosa, but I feel like now people are loving Adam Ray, okay? Adam Martinez. I feel like that's who people- uh, Adam, Adam Ray Martinez, <laughs> San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like people are seeing not just Rosa anymore, they're seeing who you really are because at the end of the day you guys whether y'all people at home that love him um or not at the end of the day rosa is a character played by adam <laughs> i got it's funny because i got a dm the other day or this morning actually that was like you're only where you are because rosa like you did rosa and that's what got you i'm like rosa is me baby i am rosa like adam i just put on like people genuinely some people really think i go out like with a lash upside down <laughs> and like contour like but I am the creator of Rosa. Uh -huh. Hello. Like, I, I mean, uh -huh. I did it. I did it. <laughs> no, but for real, like, wait, I'm like I, I me. <laughs> like, I'm, I get genuinely confused as to people who think that, like, Rosa's like somebody else and shit. Like, <laughs> You're like, like you. I'll be in public and be like, where's Rosa? Like, all looking for her and I'm like, Hi, I'm right here. <laughs> like, it really is like that. Yes, oh, dude, like, I've real. been with you a couple of times when people <laughs> ask for Rosa and I'm like, I'm like, I I'm can't like, stop. I'm like, she's right here. Ah, I'm just missing all these nails. No, I'm moving me. I'm like, bitch, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, <laughs> It's like stick out camera but it's funny because like people Dude. genuinely do like forget that at the end of the fucking day uh, at the end uh? of the fucking dumbass day <laughs> but that combo we had it's like at the end of the day he's trying to be he's trying to like really show you guys who Adam is because if tomorrow he decides to be like, okay, I don't want to do Rosa anymore, people are still like, I still fuck with him because I fell in love with Adam. You know? But that wouldn't happen. I just like, she's never leaving. Don't scare them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to address something um, before my, uh, before we go, uh, <laughs> before you make me look like the bad guy. <laughs> before you give me my check. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so like. <laughs> You're like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> want to like address that because I'm getting surgery and because I've gotten gastric bypass surgery and because I've lost so much weight. <clears throat> hold on, let me get some water. <sighs> like sponsored. Um, uh, I'm all like bleeding. I'm still the same person. And I, for a person who has been fat their entire life, I know what it's like. And a surgery a plastic surgery, a medical surgery, cannot fix the trauma and the experiences that I've experienced at all. So please know that like, I still understand what it's like to go through what I went through and like that can't just get out of my mind or that can't just, 
I feel like that, what I experienced is what molded me and is what's making me be the person that I am today and sit here so proud and so strong and so different. Like, I, I don't want people to think that I got surgery and I'm, I'm like this whole new, like different, like, I don't even know who I am anymore. Or you that know you I mean? can't relate to them anymore yeah. because like, oh, he's skinny. No, like you said, your traumas are still there. Yeah, I experienced it all. I heard it all. I've been called so many different names and like, that just doesn't go away with surgery. I, it's in here. Like, my brain and my heart experienced that, and I'm, I, I'm still Adam. Like, I'm, I, I just want to make that clear. Oh, the mosca. <laughs> I, I want to make it clear that I'm still me. Like, I'm yeah. still Adam, and I'm never gonna go away. Yeah, I, I feel like that's a uh, funny thing too because even me, you guys, I've lost Adam. I'm like, what about me? <laughs> No, but even like when you've gone through such a drastic change, even though people are like, oh my God, you're so thin now, that's still in your head. You're always, because that's such a big chapter of your life that you can't just be like erase. Exactly. With a, like you said, with a surgery or with a treatment, like yeah. it's still going to be there. That trauma is still going to be there. And you're always going to be, I don't want to say n never happy, but you're always going to have that in the back of your head. It's just going to be an experience you went through. And like I said, it's what molds you. Mm -hmm. It's what makes you stronger. It's what makes you act the way you act is what makes you react to certain situations how you react to them and that's a huge part of your journey like my journey is what i went through yeah. you know and everybody's different and it's just like but i know what it's like and i like a surgery can't fix that guys okay, so jacket platicamos todo and so we're gonna go ahead and change up the vibe a little bit porque yeah. ya casi me ponía a llorar, amigas. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the wheel of pendejada All right, you guys, so as you guys can see, Adam spun the wheel and he got wild. Ooh. And with the wild card, he got... Guess the celebrity as a child. As you guys heard, basically, production mood is all out. Oh, and <laughs> we just hired him right now. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to pay you, though. <laughs> so as you guys can see, Laudo right now is going to go ahead and show us pictures of six celebrities when they were children and me and adam are gonna have to guess and basically the one with the most points wins that's gonna be gonna hard i'm like oh my god i don't even know how i looked as a child i don't, I don't, I don't even know my nieces <laughs> <laughs> are you ready yeah okay but i feel like a lot of celebrities have a lot of strong genes I'm like, they're just famous. Uh, <laughs> no. Wait, do we have to like hit a buzzer? Uh, <laughs> like, okay, like, Cause he likes to cheat. <laughs> go, go one. Ariana Grande. Is it? Yeah. How is okay. that? Oh yes, I'm an Arianator, uh, bitch. Justin Bieber. Uh, the Home Alone kid guy. Jack Harlow. <laughs> Zac Efron. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, who's that? Me and I don't know any celebrities. I'm like, is there any Mexican ones? Ah. <laughs> I'm like, because we're Mexican, right? <laughs> Kylie. No, Kendall. Kendo. Kendall. Kendo. Kendo. That's Kendall. Or Kylie. Ah, uh, one of them. <laughs> one of I'm them. like, it's Chris. Kendall. Ah. Mine's Kendall. Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie. It's Kendall. Oh, really? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a new game. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, right now you told them all the... Ah, it's all funny. Like, we're texting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Three, two, one. Selena. Selena. Woo! Uh, 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 that one was uh, easy. Um, <laughs> Cheated me. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, Shark boy. Ow. <laughs> Taylor Lautner. <laughs> what was that? Rice gum. Ah. <laughs> 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 what the hell? I'm like <laughs> my nephew. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like any random little boy on the street. <laughs> uh, Bad Bunny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Moon, I, was calling I can Batman. see it. Uh, uh, it's like, yeah, I see I'm him. like, Bad Bunny, just text me. <laughs> yeah, he sent that to me yesterday. <laughs> uh, just... I'm like, I know my heart. Okay, my... so the last one is for 10 points. Uh, <laughs> last one is the winner. <laughs> no matter the score. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Beyonce. Beyonce. 
Ah, ah, Richie. Beyonce. <laughs> So as you guys can see, you guys, Adam. But she wasn't was. even a baby there, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, She's all woman. Yesterday. I'm like, uh, that was yesterday. <laughs> that was all like her like recent pick. Uh, uh, she got her new album. <laughs> All right, you guys, so as you guys can see, Adam won. Yeah, I'm letting him win. Uh, Adam won next. Anyway, we're going to end the show. <laughs> Anyways, bye. <laughs> Adam Thank won, so but not on social media. <laughs> <laughs> not on social blade. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, ya que vieron que jugamos ese jueguito, we are approaching the end of today's episode. And we're going to go ahead and turn it over to Adam so he can let us know <clears throat> what is next for Adam Ray OK. Okay, period. I, well, I just want to first and foremost thank you for bringing me back on to Noche de Pendejas and for letting me, you know, kind of talk about what I've been wanting to talk about and a lot of like what people don't really know about me. Um, thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, I'm like, like charity. Thanks for giving me this uh, opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a thanks huge fan. <laughs> um, but um, a lot of good, crazy things are coming. As you guys know, my surgery. Um, I even myself am excited to see what the next few months hold for me. You might see my name on the big screen. Uh, you don't know. Period. I, but um, yeah, I just. I'm super excited for the future, and I have so much stuff cooking. I'm cooking, mama. I'm, huh? <laughs> I'm like, period. I'm, <laughs> You're like, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, next. <laughs> You're like, cut that part. <laughs> so with that being said, we are approaching the end of the episode. Don't forget to go ahead and follow Adam on all his social medias, which will be linked down below. And also, don't forget to follow me on all mine so you guys won't miss a future episode. And before we leave, you guys, I want to wish Adam Adam, and I want you guys to go to his profile and wish him a speedy and great recovery because I can't wait, bitch, for you to come stunting on these hoes on the ground. I, I would, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> to be all up in their business. No, but I'm really proud of you, bitch, and I'm Thank really happy, you. and I can't wait to see what the surgery will hold for you for the after, for the future, ah, for the tomorrow, for the <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> But I can't wait. I'm so proud. And as a friend, I genuinely mean it. And he knows I genuinely mean it. But with that being said, you guys, make sure you guys go check him out. Go give him a huge virtual hug. Send him messages. Aww. And we'll see you guys on next week's episode. Bye, Bye. guys.